Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Google. The report was first published on our website Wednesday, July 20, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Google? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since July 19, 2022, our system ranks the Google stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 0.896. In this period the stock has so far done better than what our systems expected and had a gain of 0.08%. This is an average return of 0.04% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Google our last headline reads, Green Day on Wednesday for Google. The Google stock price gained 0.0791% on the last trading day, Wednesday, July 20, 2022, rising from $113.81 to $113.90. And has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the day the stock fluctuated 2.6% from a day low at $112.48 to a day high of $115.40. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a minus 0.59% loss for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 1 million shares and in total, 36 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $4.05 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $151.55, and the lowest price was $101.88. Right now the price is 24.84%, or $37.65, below 52-week high and 95.35%, or $2,335.02, below all-time high June 14, 2021 where the price hit $2,448.92. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 4.36% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 13.91% and minus 0.38%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 19.11% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 28.17% and minus 5%. This equals a price between $81.81 and $108.21 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Google stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give PE ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Google stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Google. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. The Google stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock, but the stock has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $112.04 and $112.84. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, July 8, 2022, and so far it has fallen minus 4.57%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a sell signal nine days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal nine days ago. The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal three days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal three days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart. 
gave a buy signal three days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average gave a buy signal three days ago. The long-term moving average gave a sell signal 73 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Gave a buy signal 70 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Google Google finds support from accumulated volume at $112.84 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $2.92 between high and low, or 2.6%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 3.22%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Google. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Google currently has a price earning ratio of 19.93. This is a relatively low price to earnings ratio and either signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued and could indicate a buying opportunity. Next upcoming earnings report for Q2 2022 is expect to be released July 25, 2022. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Google meets first resistance at $114.29. If you do not hold Google shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Google finds first level of support at $112.84 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Google is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. The five latest insides trades have been done by Hennessy John L. whom have bought and sold 11 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 36.923. In total, the insiders bought 13,253 and sold 29,088 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $108.73, minus 4.54%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 8 days ago. Is Google stock a buy? Google holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Thursday 21st we expect Google to open up $0.0267 and start trading at $113.93. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.